here with the Open Interconnect Consortium. And who are you? My name is David McCall. I work with Intel. I've been part of the Open Internet Consortium since it got started. Is this new? Uh, it got formed in July of 2014. Uh, so, so it's been around since then. So it's like a year or something? Just a bit more than a year. So we were here at CES last year and we were basically talking about what our plans were and how we were going to have devices by this time. Um, and actually we do have devices and we're going to be demoing them at a suite in the Palazzo um, on, on Wednesday and Thursday. Um, we've got some, we've got Samsung, we've got Atmel, we've got Honeywell, we've got... So it says something about IoT connectivity? Yeah. And so we're, what we're, about. we're really trying to solve a key problem with the Internet of Things. A lot of people are very excited about the potential of the Internet of Things, and I think there's now general agreement that the real value of the Internet of Things is going to be delivered by the applications and services that run on the richer devices and up in the cloud. The problem is that the people who are supposed to develop those applications and services don't necessarily know how to talk to all of the things, and there are a huge variety of ways to talk to those different devices and get that data and reach down and control those things, and, and also to handle security. So asking the developers to learn all of that variety, a plethora of new standards, is a really tall order. We're trying to make it really simple. So we've got a standard for those layers that the software developers would talk to, and we've defined how those then the layers would talk down to the multiple different radios. We've also got translation layers to talk to other non-OIC devices. So basically, a developer or an application um, provider only really needs to learn one thing, and that's the OIC interface. We're not just providing a standard either. We've got an associated open source project, which is activity. And this is a, an open source project run by the Linux Foundation, sponsored by the Open Internet Connect Consortium, and it actually delivers code. It delivers what? Code. So the developers aren't just being given a, a document with a spec; they're being given code that runs on multiple different platforms. And uh, so, in the consortium, you have uh, these companies right now. Well, we've got over 110. That's just a small sampling. So, um, Lots of companies agree that this is important. Yes, yes, definitely. And the, the, I mean, when I talk, when I when I make videos about IoT, I see lots of different like groups and stuff doing stuff. Yeah. Are people trying to do this in different ways also, like different consortiums or different? I groups think what you're seeing is a lot of a lot of groups are running really hard to try and make the Internet of Things happen. Yeah, um, there, as some of those groups started up, or other groups that just existed looked at what they need to do with the Internet of Things. There are alliances being formed. Also just um, at the end of November, OIC announced that we're actually um, basically merging in some way with the uh, UPMP. So they've been doing some work on the Internet of Things and they looked at what we were doing and we looked at what they were doing and said this is kind of similar and we should probably just have one thing rather than two things. So all of the UPMP assets are actually being transferred into OIC. We're going to keep their old standards, existing standards running People can certify that according to those what they're sort of traditionally known for, but the Internet of Things stuff is now all being done within OIC. And I think that's probably one of the first big coming together of two large organizations. So you're probably going to see more of that as time goes on. The backside is some other here. Examples of uh, what is These that? are liaisons that we have with other groups. Um, you can see we've got liaisons with DLNA and Ocean, HDMI, HDI, HyperCat, OIC, Bus, Ipso, 1M2M, Thread. So and, why, why is ARM not on this paper yet? Um, well, we, we talked to ARM, um, and I think it's really a question of uh, priorities and what they've got going on and how much resource they have to devote to things. I don't. Are they doing this in another way? Not that I'm aware of, no. no? So uh, th th there's no conflict, right? It's like uh, the whole world should be part of this? Oh, absolutely. And oh, it's well, free, I, no license? Um, actually, that, that, to join OIC, there is a, a membership fee, but to actually, the, the specs are public and the open source, that's uh, under an Apache 2.0 license. You can go to that site, you can, you can go to OIC site, the openinterconnect.org, download the specs, you can go to iotivity.org and download the code, you can use the code, royalty free, it's got good patent coverage, and you can also even re-contribute, and contribute fixes or suggest changes without being a member. What is Google doing for this? Google isn't doing anything with this at the moment. Um, they've got their own thing going on with Brillo and Weave, which is uh, really just a merge site to emerge. So we're, having, we're keeping an eye on that, but um, they haven't been involved with uh, OIC.